Across South Louisiana, combines are busy harvesting sugarcane and mills are furiously grinding it. While no farmer wants a drought, an extremely dry two-month stretch allows sugarcane farmers to get off to a fast start. Even though it's been rainy and very wet lately, uh, most of our bad land is out, so that means most of our higher, sandier ground is left for harvest. Because of the dry start, sugar recoveries in the mill were excellent because little mud was being brought to the mills. Gravois says sugar recovery levels are now around 245 pounds of sugar per ton of cane, which could lead to a record crop. We have the potential to make over 2 million tons this year. So we'll, uh, we'll celebrate that one after the crop. <laughs> Earlier in the season, the mills were struggling due to high molasses levels. The problem has seemed to correct itself. Our mill capacities have gone up since we've kind of gotten past the molasses issue. Um, so right now our mills are grinding at a higher rate with high sugar recovery. While the drought was good for harvesting and grinding, it may have a detrimental effect on cane that was planted for harvest next year. We'll get a better idea uh, in late February and into March to see what the effect of this dry weather had on some of the plant cane. Because of the large crop, the harvest and grinding season is expected to last until the middle of January. With the LSU Ag Center, this is Craig Gotro reporting.